believe you're leaving. Mm -hmm. What will I do here without you? Answer the phones, check people in, flirt the lab tech tie. Same thing you do when I'm here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's he doing? Doc called and checked the air system for that rogue flu virus. He still blames it for getting him sick. You know who never gets sick? Dead people. You should think of illness as a small price to pay for being alive. Thank you for that negative morning cheer. You're welcome. Just trying to keep it real. I know he's a good doctor, but his paranoia is ruining the place, and this whole embedded flu virus nonsense is a perfect example. So I think that uh, these drugs should do you. Uh, we are, did I tell you this? We are put. Good to see you. We are particularly excited about this new anti-weight gain drug called Fat Be Gone. Ask your doctor if Fat Be Gone is right for you. We also have a new drug coming, FDA willing. Treats irritable bowel syndrome, whose symptoms include... No, 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 don't, don't tell me. I'll catch it. Okay. Well, easy there, Tiger. Um, let me write down the name of the restaurant I told you I would. Free drinks and food on us. I promise you that, and you never take me up on it. Do it! Okay? Do you know who used that pen before you? A strep throat patient. And before that, a, I, a patient with aggressive eczema using public pens as a suicide mission. Why didn't you tell Just, me that earlier? I was, I'm using the pen now. Do you have any Purell? Could you run and get me some Purell? I will get it immediately. Thanks. I need to talk to you in just a minute, privately. As soon as I'm done with the patient in exam room B, I'm all yours. Okay. Okay. So what's going on here? Scarlet fever? Monkeypox? Pig flu? I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. That's not exactly the reaction I got from my boyfriend. You're not contagious. Be happy. I know I am. <laughs> What? She's still in high school? Oh, then you should be worried. High school kids don't wash their hands, they drink from each other's straws, they kiss each other a lot, and who knows who's been sitting in that desk before you? High school is a veritable incubator of death! I'm not worried about catching a cold. I don't think I'm ready to be a mother. Have you considered adoption? Nurse, she just said she's not sure she's ready to have a baby. Why would she adopt another one? Look, it's understandable to be frightened. No matter what age a woman is when she first gets pregnant, it's scary. Go home, talk to your family. I'm sure they'll understand. And know that you can always come back and see me if you need to talk. It's actually very nice of you, doctor. Until you have the baby. After that, you have to find somebody else. Babies have no immune systems. They catch everything. Babies are breeding grounds for communicable diseases, and that's even worse than high school. <laughs> what? <laughs> You know, doctor, aside from the rant about human petri dishes, you were actually very good with that young woman. Yeah, I felt good about that one. What'd you want to talk to me about? Hey, doc, you know what I found? An air filter chock filled with oozing viral mess. It's a miracle you all haven't ended up in the ICU. I knew it! I'll have a change in no time, doc. You were right. I can't believe you were right. Of course I'm right. I'm focused on disease at all times. Nothing gets by me. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, in that case, I have a date with I don't feel so good .net. They started a new community forum. We're going to diagnose each other. It's going to be great. Hello, this is Nurse Megan Williams. Hi. Yeah, I'm calling to let you know I won't be accepting the job offer after all. No, my current office is the best place for me. Nurse! Nurse, come in here! I, I just gained a pound! Uh, doctor, don't worry. Pregnancy is not contagious. Mm -hmm.